As generative artificial intelligence I, technology gets more sophisticated, the need to power AI tools is getting a boost. AMD has launched what it calls the most advanced GPU for AI, presenting a challenge to NVIDIA, which currently dominates the market for AI chips. Called the MI300X, the chip will start shipping later this year and Amazon may be its first customer. The US-based company aims to tap the AI market as substitutes for NVIDIA's products. AMD CEO Lisa Su said that AI is the company's largest and most strategic long-term growth opportunity. Why are AI GPUs needed? GPU chips are needed by companies that offer generative AI programs and tools. At the center of this are GPUs. GPUs are enabling generative AI, Su told investors, as reported by CNBC. Large language models, LLMs, for generative AI applications require a lot of memory and processing power because an increasing number of calculations. AMD demoed the Michigan 300X running a 40 billion parameter model called Falcon. To provide more clarity, OpenAI's GPT-3 model has 175 billion parameters. According to AMD, its Michigan 300X chip and its cDNA architecture were designed for large language models and other cutting-edge AI models. A good news for AMD? AMD did not disclose a price but the launch could pressurize NVIDIA's to rethink its price strategy of its AI GPUs, such as the H100, which can cost $30,000 or more. Lower GPU prices means lower cost of serving generative AI applications. Initially, AMD will offer an Infinity architecture that combines eight of its M1300X accelerators in one system, similar to NVIDIA and Google systems that combine eight or more GPUs in a single box for AI applications. Amazon may use AMD GPU chips. According to a report by Reuters, Amazon Web Services is considering using new AI chips from AMD, however, the world's largest cloud computing provider is yet to make a final decision. We're still working together on where exactly that will land between AWS and AMD, but it's something that our teams are working together on," said Dave Brown, Vice President of Elastic Compute Cloud at Amazon. That's where we've benefited from some of the work that they've done around the design that plugs into existing systems," he added. Thank you for watching this video, we hope you found it informative and interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more technology news and updates.